Recently, the Pike County Board of Education appointed Freddie Bowling as their new superintendent. Bowling has over 30 years worth of experience working in various administrative roles across East Kentucky. As the school year is about to begin, Bowling wishes to prioritize student success and encourages students to improve academically. Well, I'm very excited to say the least. Uh, I've had time to do some planning since they hired me in waiting in January. So I've been working with our, our teams and really just planning the school year and I can't wait to get into our schools and see our students and our staff. So we're just excited. We have a great school system. Um, it's because we've got good people. We've got great staff. We've got good students. We've got great community support. And of course our goal will always be student achievement. That's number one. So we're going to focus on that. We're really going to try to raise the bar uh, across the district. You know, our vision is, is learn, lead, and inspire. And we're really going to try to tie everything to that so that we can push our kids and, and really give them opportunities to experience success. The Pike County Health Department invites you to come see them for your back to school and sports physicals, as well as vaccines. We are the vaccine experts. So for your back to school physicals, sports physicals, or vaccines, visit the Pike County Health Department today. Bowling also wants to bring attention to staffing shortages in the science and math departments. Despite this, he is confident the gap will be filled. I think every district has its own uh, issues. I think across the state, one of the, one of the issues that we all are facing would be uh, staffing shortages, especially in high school math, high school science, middle school science and math. Those, those areas are getting harder to find applicants. Um, we are improving, I think, on the elementary side. We're having more applicants apply for jobs, but really uh, across the state, we're seeing a decline in, in middle school and high school math and science, uh, foreign languages, uh, FMD teachers. So that's really a concern, but we'll do the best we can with that. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.